Yeah, so in this video I'm going to show you how to remove a broken bolt with a TIG welder. You can also use this on small uh, screws too. And this manifold, intake and exhaust manifold, came off a Ford uh, Straight 6, an old one that's in a chipper. And this gasket that connects the two together was bad and one bolt broke off in there. And there's only about a quarter inch of the bolt in there. And all you have to do to see that is uh, compare the two uh, bolts to the one that actually came out without breaking. It also had one of the studs broke off here, but there's about a half an inch sticking out. And all you have to do to get that out, which I've already removed, is heat this up with a torch until it's red hot around here. And then uh, clamp vice grips on it and it came right out. But you end up having to heat it up several times to get that to come out. Yeah, and this one here would have broke too, but I was able to heat it up out here and it came out. But this one, I tried to heat it up right here. It was real hard to get in there with a torch and it, it still broke. And that other one actually came out. And see, now even if I build that up with a TIG welder and it doesn't come out, I can heat it up in here and it will come out. And I already went over the gasket areas with a surface prep tool and ran a tap down all the other holes. Yeah, you guys on the East Coast probably have to deal with this a lot more than I do. And I just took my drill press uh, vise and clamped on here to hold this the way I wanted. Yeah, and when you do this, you want the tungsten sharpened up pretty good so you can focus the arc real good. And also when you do it this way, it heats the bolt up all the way through and it comes out easier. Yeah, I'm going to try something completely different for putting the camera on. What I'm going to do is mount the camera to this mag base and uh, hook it onto the light above and then I can get a better shot. A while back I made two of these things. And what the reason I actually made these is so you can put the dial indicator in the mag base with the swing arm on it. But then I was thinking, well I could mount a camera to that. So I made this little uh, spacer, because it's quarter 20 of the threads, and it'll work. Yeah, I'm actually not going to be able to stick this to the light, because the metal's so thin it doesn't stick on there good. I could, it just, and this is not long enough to where it'll actually stick to it good either. Yeah, it'd be better if I could get an overhead shot. I might make something to where I can do that in the future, so I'm just going to stick that here for now. Yeah, and I'm just setting the TIG welder at 200 amps. Yeah, in the future, I think what I'll do is make a flat piece of metal that's screwed to the ceiling where I can take that mag base and stick it on there. And I'm going to go get a big nut that I can weld onto that.
Yeah, I finally got it out of there. Yeah, it didn't come out the way I wanted it to. It was in there so bad. Uh, I ended up, what I have to do is drill it out, and I tapped it. I drilled it out to 5 16ths and tapped it out 3 8 That's the drill size for these bolts are 3 8 And uh, how you do that is you center punch it as close as you can to the center. And then you drill into it a tiny little bit with a real small drill bit. And then you can see exactly if you're on center or not. And if you're not, you just get the drill on an angle and until you get it perfectly in the center. Yeah, because you have to be exactly in the center when you do that. And I also put a, a never seize on these bolts, but I can't tighten them down until it's up against the head or it's not going to be flat. Yeah, I probably could tighten the bolts down with it on the welding table like this because then it's, everything's held right. But I think I'm going to wait just to make sure everything lines up right.